What is going on everybody, Resale Rabbit here. Boy, being a YouTuber is exhausting. This is my fourth video that I'm filming today. The first one was all of this stuff that I flew out of state to buy. The second one was an eBay sales video. The third one was that Amazon pallet that we unboxed. The fourth one is this one. It is Friday, June 3rd. I bought this stuff a week ago. It arrived today. And I am going to be going through this Milwaukee pallet with you. I paid 1500 bucks for this pallet. It is not full. This is how it was. It actually wasn't priced. I told the guy, I said, look, I know this is gonna be out of my price range, but I have to ask, how much is it? And he told me two grand. And I told him I would do two grand for this and another pallet, which it was, ended up being 500 bucks for that one. Uh, so it made this 1500. So we're gonna go through this and see what all I've got for 1500. I'll test what I can, but when I was going through it in the other video, if you watched it, I found the 12 volt battery to test the 12 volt tools, but I've yet to find an 18 volt battery to test the 18 volt tools. So let's go through and see what we can find on here. All right, so right on top, we've got these 3 8 drive sockets here. It is missing one. Uh, let's see, it's probably a quarter inch. I'm thinking that's a quarter inch because 5 16 is the next one up. So we've got most of them. This set, let me pull out my phone here and go to the Home Depot's website and figure out what this retails for. This is a $40 set on the Home Depot's website. I should have no problem getting 20 bucks for it, 20, maybe 30. So I'll put that over here. Next, this thing appears to be missing parts. Of course, they could be in there. This, you can see a picture of it here, is so when you're drilling holes in the ceiling, it catches all of the debris. This should be now you can put this on any hole saw or any drill, but I bought this before. I believe I spent like 28 bucks and it should have right here, one that comes with it. Of course, just the tray here, I could probably sell for two or three bucks. All right, now let's get to the power tools. I already tested this on camera. It is a little M8, M12 fuel impact and it works. Oh no, this is not an impact. It's a little hammer drill, look at that. Uh, let's see. Looks like no matter what, it's just a hammer drill, not a regular drill. Seems like it works to me. I'm gonna take the battery off so I have it for later to test other things. All right, now we've got, here's some more M12 stuff. Now we've got an impact and we've got just a regular drill. Let's see, I'm not going to test everything here, but give you an idea. These are customer returns. The drill works. And the impact works. And this one actually shows me the battery life. We've got three dots on there. I don't think the battery has one of those on there. So, oh, you know what? This does have an issue. It will only go in reverse because this button is jammed on this side. Yeah, it won't push through. So this one has a defect. All of the other ones, the other two that I showed you are perfectly fine. So this, I bet someone would still buy this to be able to, I bet that's easily repairable. So someone's probably still gonna buy this. Now, we've got, what is this? A door jig, I think. These are nice. This is for cutting, I think this is what this way. Yeah, this is for cutting the doorknob out of a door. I've got the Ryobi version for this and I paid like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. Milwaukee version. I've, you can see someone used it. I bet someone bought this, cut the hole in their door and then returned it to the store, which by the way is stealing. Don't do that. But this is probably maybe 10 bucks in the sale at least. Uh, we've got a bag here, which I'm gonna put 
these 12 volt tools into so we can sell this as a set. Next, pull out this bag here. I don't have batteries to test these, but I've got a brushless Milwaukee drill, um, a brushless Milwaukee hammer drill. These are 18 volt, but they are not the fuel. That switch seems to be fine. And then also in that bag, I've got, ooh, another 12 volt battery. I'll set that aside. And a Milwaukee impact. So this is a set right here, three tool set with the bag. All right, what do we have here? Some channel locks. I'm not sure if these are Milwaukee. Yep, yeah, they are, it's etched in there and it might be printed underneath this sticker. What's the point of this? How it comes to a point like that? I wonder if that does something. Um, but eh, probably 10 bucks right here. Put that in the box of hand tools. All right, here we go, we got another set. And this, much like the other M uh, M18 that I showed you, it looks unused. We've got the drill and we've got another drill. So this must not be a set, but two, they look unused drills, which is look fine. I really hope I find an M18 battery in here so I can test these. I have DeWalt and Ryobi at home, so I don't have a battery. Now here we go, M18 charger. It looks heavily used though. Um, we'll test, well actually this is the dual charger, M18 and M12, which is really cool. DeWalt, as far as I know, doesn't do these, um, although I don't have any 12 volt tools, so it's not that big of a deal for me. Uh, so we got a charger. Here's another charger. This is just for the M12. And the chargers, I will probably be able to sell on eBay for 30 or 40 bucks each. What is this? Uh, is this a chalk line? I think this is a chalk line, like a massive Milwaukee chalk line. It's not pulling out. It is full of chalk. I'm trying to see if there's something to make it pull out. There we go. So we got a massive 100 foot Milwaukee chalk line. I've, no, I've never seen a chalk line like this. So I have no idea what that's worth, but I'm sure it's 20 bucks or so. All right, here we go. We've got a Milwaukee glove for an amputee. It actually feels like a pretty good quality glove. Too big for me, but probably an XL. Is there a size written on it somewhere? Uh, not that it really matters, but it is, yes, an XL. There might be a second glove in here somewhere. It's all just kind of dumped in. All right, we've got here, this is just an empty bag. I'm sure we can fill the set with that bag. This is a bag, it's not empty though. What is in it? More bags. There's one. The stuff in this one looks like just papers and whatnot for a set. So two. three and then the bag came in four Milwaukee bags here. You know, I could probably still get a few bucks per on those. Here, we got another one of these, still missing that part. It's not in there, but it does have the collar at least. Another dual charger. This one looks a lot more new. Uh, let's see. This, I think is just a little USB charger that takes, what kind of battery does that take? It looks like a battery goes in here, but it looks too small for a C and too big for a double A. So I am not sure what the purpose of this is. It'll help if I can get this thing back on. There we go. Ah. Little Milwaukee hand tool. We've got empty package for a hole saw. I'm gonna set this aside. This looks like a backpack vacuum, but it's missing whatever goes on top. So we'll set it aside, see if we happen to find that. All right, let's do another pack of these tools. So we've got an M18 drill, looks new. We've got an M18 impact. 
Might have some very light use, could just be warehouse dust. And we've got an M12 impact. This one looks used. Let's pop a battery in. That battery is dead. So I'll just put it with the chargers. This must be the one that I was using to test. And this one is good to go. So I'm gonna put this with that set because remember one of these was broken in that set. All right, next we've got random tools here. M18 impacts. One looks like it's been used. The other one looks new to me. So we'll set these. I'm gonna start filling these bags here. Two to three tools per bag. All right, here we've got some sort of grinder, Milwaukee grinder. Let's take the sticker off so we can see it. And these are Home Depot stickers, so it indicates these are Home Depot returns. This is a Milwaukee cutoff slash grinder. It doesn't say any other details. Um, it is an M18. Um, other than being able to test it, it looks like it's in good shape to me. I don't see any indication that it wouldn't be working. All right, here we've got an M18 vacuum. This definitely looks used. So we'll see if it's any good once we find a battery. Here is another M18 impact and an M12 drill. And the drill here looks brand new. And it works. So let's toss it in here. Here's another grinder, uh, another M18 grinder. This one has the shield. Um, I think this one is different. No, this should be the same one. Has the shield, looks like it works fine. Obviously can't test it. All right, I got another bag here. We've got an M18 drill, looks new. An M18, hold on, is that a fuel? It's just an M18 drill brushless, but we have an M18 fuel impact. The fuel is their higher power line. And then we've got a used M18 impact that Clay was the one who returned it. And again, not able to test it. Oh, what else do we have in here? Here's another bag. This feels empty or like there's not much in it. And in it is, let's see, there's a bag. There's another bag. And then this one. Here, we've got another 18 drill. Looks brand new. Let's grab another bag. Let's start filling bags of tools here. All right. Here is a set of hole saws. Not half the saw, but the hole saw. With a whole roll of tape on it. So this, honestly, all of these look brand new. Um, but it's their set of hole saws. And then the arbor, two of them in there actually. And it does not want to close up nicely. Oh, it's trying. Well, that's why it's got a mile of tape on it. So those are probably about 50 bucks, I'd assume. All right, here's a heavily used hacksaw. This is a great tool. I've got the DeWalt version of this. This thing is very heavily used. I'm gonna say it probably doesn't work. Someone probably bought a brand new one and then returned their old crappy one, which again is stealing. Probably doesn't work, but you never know. Um, and if it does, it's not worth quite as much. All right, here we've got some M12 stuff. We've got this battery on here. This is an impact with a little tiny hole saw on it. Eh, 
It works. At least on cardboard it works. And now I can't get this little bit of cardboard out. But there's a perfectly cut hole in the cardboard. All right, that's just gonna stay on there. Um, we've got another impact. Working condition, this one looks new. And when I say looks new, that doesn't mean I'm gonna sell it as a new tool. Um, it just means it doesn't look heavily used or anything. This one, it works. I don't know what this is, maybe an impact. Screwdriver, it says the end is gone. So this is one that I would sell for parts. But some will buy it because it does work. Maybe they can, I can put that together with the other broken one and someone will buy it. All right, I've got one heavily used Milwaukee knee pad. I've got whatever this is. Takes an M18 battery in here. Transfer pump. So I'm guessing you hook a hose on either side and it transfers or something. I don't know. That can't be cheap. What else we have? Here is another set, I think of hole saws. Bimetal hole saw, $130 value. Um, but the picture looks different than what the other one was. So let's crack this open and see what it looks like. No, it's the same thing. The case is a little busted up. But we get the hole saws, and it looks like they're new, but it looks like we're missing some of the little ones. But still, a whole bunch of hole saws there. Again, not half the saw, but the hole saw. All right, now we've got an electric Milwaukee heat gun. I mean, I think I paid 50 bucks for my cheap Wagner. This is probably more than that. And holy, this thing is beat up. This is a uh, three quarter inch, half inch impact, electric. This is really, look at this, really beat up. I don't understand why Home Depot even takes these things. Um, it is electric though, so I'm gonna quick plug it in and see if it works. So it does work, but there's some sparking in the motor. I think that means the motor is about burnt up. Um, still probably worth something for parts. Someone will buy it. Uh, we got an empty bag. What do we have here? This, oh, this is for that USB thing, wherever I put it, I think. It looks like it, because it's got a little USB connector. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think this might be a light. So it's not that, this is for a light. We'll see if I'll find the rest of it. All right, here, a little Milwaukee, looks like a bit set. Um, all different impact, I believe yep, those are impact bits. That's probably a good 10 bucks or so. We've got a dual charger. This is a vacuum. I don't think it goes to that backpack though. Um, let's see. So you put your battery in here. You got your hose and attachments and presumably this bottom compartment is how you empty it and it has been used it is not a new item but if we find a battery like everything else here we can test it i'm sure that's worth a few bucks it's got red on it i'm thinking that's chalk from that giant chalk line all right what do we got here we've got an m18 drill uh let's see our m12 i mean an m12 drill by the way this battery is not the fuel, it's just a regular battery. I haven't, didn't look to see if the other one was. Working condition. 
Whatever. Oh, here we go. Another 12 battery. Uh, just a regular one. This thing. Oh, look at this. Whole hog drill. This thing is huge. I bet this is a couple hundred bucks. And it is electric. It does look used, but not heavily. Let me plug it in. We'll try it out. Seems to work perfectly fine. I don't see any signs indicating it wouldn't or has some sort of an issue. This thing has some weight to it, though. I would not want to be the guy who needs to lift that thing all day long on a job site. All right. Let's keep going. I'm looking for bigger stuff in here. Looks like another pack of the hole saws. We got a whole bunch of these bigger hole saws in here too. This is like 50 bucks at the Home Depot. Someone will definitely buy that uh, for probably 20. We've got another angle grinder, uh, four and a half inch and it's electric. This thing looks brand new, so I'm not gonna bother testing it right now. At least I'll test it before I sell it, but what else? We've got we're missing so we're missing a jaw here. This I'm probably just gonna throw in the trash. Now, here's something worth note. Sometimes we get like the warranty replacements. I cannot bring this in for a warranty replacement because even though it's got a lifetime warranty, because someone already likely did and they swapped it out. So this is just going in the garbage. If it had some value for parts, I would try to sell it, but I don't see any part value on that. This is not Milwaukee. This is a home light electric chainsaw. It looks like the top here is missing, uh, probably for oiling the chain. Um, but still, I mean, it looks to be pretty good condition. Uh, we got a giant Milwaukee hammer. Also really light. Maybe it's just also, if you saw the other video here, let me grab it. If you saw the other video going through the Home Depot pallets, or not going through, but showing them, there was this monster of a hammer, but it's super light. Here's another monster of a hammer, a little bit smaller, but about the same. Also feels really light. It says 19 ounce. This one says 14. They feel about the same weight. Pretty sure that makes the universe explode if you hit them hard enough. Anyways. Um, maybe it's just deceiving because it's so big, it feels like it should be heavier. Anyways, that is a Milwaukee hammer. Oh, we got a bag here. It feels empty. Here's another empty bag. Yeah, there's more power tools back here. All right, got another bag full here. We've got... An M18 drill looks somewhat used. An M18 impact. An M18 drill. The impact and drill here look pretty new. Uh, we've got, what is this? This might be a grinder. Uh, Multi-tool. It looks like it might be missing some parts where you attach the blade. I'm not sure, uh, but like an oscillating saw. Uh, we've got another M18 impact, uh, looks to be in new condition, and another, uh, another multi-tool. Alright, next I've got a Milwaukee hard hat. Another pack of the hole saws. Some snips. These are really long tin snips. Uh, we got another dual charger. There's still a lot of stuff in here. All right, what else we got? We got a regular size chalk line. Another dual charger. Just a whole bunch of chargers in here. Uh, here we go. A set of gloves. 
Uh, this is a pipe cutter for cutting PVC. Uh, wire strippers. And all of this is Milwaukee, unless I say otherwise. A dual battery charger. What else we got? It's a nice little level. TD returned it. Uh, oh, I see why he returned it. There's not enough water in that long side. But the 45 degree and the 90 degree work fine. Someone will still buy this. I don't know why there wouldn't be enough water in it. It's not leaking or anything, but... And you might even be able to replace this because that little hole drilled in the side, it might pull out and... I don't know. Maybe someone will buy that. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got another heat gun, electric heat gun. Uh, let's see, some side cutters. Uh, these are, in fact, Milwaukee. And they're covered in tape. Some side cutters that have an, as an insensitive name as an alternative. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, two different tin snips. What is this? A wrench for an angle grinder. And it's missing the little spacer that was supposed to come with it. I don't know if the value in that is the wrench or the spacer. Uh, we've got a saw blade. This is a seven and a quarter inch saw blade. Looks brand new. Here is, uh, this has one bit left in it, a glass and tile bit. There's only one in there, but someone will probably still pay a buck or two for it. Another dual charger. Um, another jig for a door, but it's missing one of the whole saws. Uh, let's see, looks like there might be some more power tools left over here. Uh, we've got another dual charger. And this one I'm pretty confident is new. And this is an empty box that had hole saws in it. They're probably spilled out in here somewhere. All right, more knee pads. And then there's a third one here. So that gives us four knee pads or two sets, most likely. Here's a couple of power tools. I know I'm off camera. I'm trying to dig them out. All right, we've got two uh, impacts. I don't know why they look different. The one, the one's brushless and one just doesn't say. Not a fuel or anything, uh, but two more 18 volt impacts. And that might be it for the power tools. Here's another dual charger. Here's another dual charger. I could switch to Milwaukee tools and have a charger in every room. It says I have a voicemail, but it doesn't say who from. All right. More tin snips. Uh, this one seems heavily used. This one is broken, but this is something that someone would probably fix if they can get it for a buck or two. What else? We got a couple more hole saw sets that may or may not be complete. I think I'm about done going through here because it's pretty much all stuff like this dual charger that you've already seen. This, I think this is a filter for the vacuum. So that backpack vacuum, it doesn't seem like the rest of it is in here. Uh, here's a bit set and instructions for one of the uh, one of the sets. I don't remember what size it was. Uh, channel locks, also Milwaukee. Sometimes it's tough to tell when you first look at them. Uh, let's see. Another charger, dual. Another dual charger. We 
we've got a dual charger and a 12 volt charger. Oh, what else? We've got two more chargers, a dual and a 12 volt. And oh, almost grabbed another one with it. A 12 volt charger. Pretty much seen everything. I'm trying to look to see if there's anything different that you have yet to see. What is this? Uh, some sort of metal brush for something, or a grinding wheel or something. Uh, this is new. We got a hacksaw. We had the hacksaw, now we have the hacksaw. What else? Hey, guess what? Another dual charger. In case, I don't think we found any of those yet. And you know what? Another charger. Another charger. Here's a 12 volt charger. And another dual charger. And what is this? Compact portable bandsaw blades. Finally, something new. All right, anything else interesting in here? Oh, this is interesting. Another charger. What in the world is this? A trap snake. I think how it works is your drill goes on there and then that operates the snake. I've never seen anything like this before, so I'm not sure how it works. I don't know, but it's here, it exists. What else? Ooh, this is kind of neat, another charger. Ow, I just grabbed the saw blade. Rabbit, you should really be wearing gloves. No! Oh, what is this? Uh, it looks like a shank and arbor for a hole saw. That really hurt. All right, what else do we have? This might be that other glove. It looks like about the same size, so now we have a set of gloves. So if you're an amputee and you wanted that glove, well, you better grow another hand. Uh, what else do we have in here? More um, drill blades, drill bits. That's the word I'm looking for. Looks like Bill left his uh, tin snips in the store. And I mean, these don't look dull. I don't see any nicks or anything in them. I don't know why someone returns these, especially if you're writing their name on them. If you write your name on it, it's yours. If you write your name on your lunch and put it in my fridge, it's mine. Uh, these are brand new. No, they can't be. I think they are. The handle is really dirty. Maybe it got stuck under a shelf in a store or something because I don't... Oh, no, there we go. They do come out of here. They are not new. But still sellable. All right. I know I've said this like four times. Get these bags out of here. We got three Milwaukee bags. Oh, hold on. Another 12 volt battery. Ah, you thought I was gonna say a charger. And we've got a AC adapter for something. It is a Milwaukee one, so not sure what it goes to. 
That looks like about it. A uh, little drill bit set. It's a little mini set. That almost landed on my foot. Thankfully, more of my safety shoes. Uh, that was for one of the grinders. Uh, we've got, that was loud. Uh, we've got a snake for electrical work. That box, I don't know why I keep putting stuff in it. It's like way overflowing. You'll see in a minute. Um, there are also several handles for the grinders in here as well. Here we go. There we go. Another charger. All right. What is this? Giant drill bit that looks like it was used once and then returned because they no longer need to use it anymore. So why should they have to own it? Whole bunch of different hand tools in here. another chalk line all right this is what i'm gonna call it so this is what this thing looks like so we still have a whole bunch of stuff in here all these little red boxes you know have hole saws or bits and whatnot um ear plugs another one of these one of these you chart the instructions for a charger uh, a little jab saw folding jab saw with a metal blade on it, it looks like. Uh, marker, bunch of hole saws, gloves. Uh, you get the idea. And then this is the area around me right now. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bags full of tools. Each bag has at least two. Most of them have three or more. And then you get something like this and this that have like five or six. I would guess there are probably 20 Milwaukee cordless tools um, at 50 bucks each is a thousand bucks right there. Some of them are going to go for more than 50. Like the 12 volt drill, this is probably going to be 50. Uh, but the multi tool could easily see 100. The grinders, I bet, will go well over 100. Um, this, probably 50 if it runs. That thing over there, that beefy, heavy drill, probably a couple hundred. I'm guessing I will probably break even on the power tools. And then all of this other stuff, this million, I mean, I'll put the chargers in with them, maybe. Although if I don't have batteries, why put chargers with them? I'll probably sell them as tool only and then sell the chargers separately. With the exception of, I'll, I've got like four of these. So I might make a couple of complete sets on the 12 volt tools. Um, and then this. I mean, th these bit sets are gonna be 10 to 20 bucks easy for me. And then just the random hand tools are gonna be five to 10 bucks each. I bet I sell everything here for about $4,000, just a rough guess. Um, because this stuff is really going to add up all of these one, two, three, four, that one's empty, but five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and more under here. So 10, just on the top here, there's probably a couple more in there, 10 boxes of bits or hole saws. Um, then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more here. There's a couple more in there at 15 bucks each is... I don't know, 300 bucks just in those. All the random hand tools and stuff. I know that you guys are going to look at this because I know how people see these videos and so you're not going to make your money back. You lost your money, bro. But I'm still paying for the 16,000 square foot warehouse and all of my employees, so clearly I'm not losing money. I must be doing something right. So anyways, that is the Milwaukee stuff. I'm really excited. I've never bought a dedicated tool palette before. The closest I've gotten was like that one there, yard tools. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure I showed that on the last video. So in case I didn't, I'm gonna walk over here and show it. 
Uh, this was 1200 bucks. They're returns. Um, but I'm going to sell them. I think that brings my cost to like 15 bucks each. I added it up when I was there. I don't remember how many units are on here now. But the little ones right there are 100 bucks in the store. So I'm going to sell them for 50 And the big ones here are 170 in the store. So I'm going to sell them for, I don't know, 80 bucks, 75 something like that. Maybe 90 uh, I like to be around half retail at least, plus or minus. There's a whole bunch of those there. So anyways, I've gotten outdoor power loads or pallets like that. Uh, let's try and maneuver back through here. I'll show you another pallet that I've gotten a lot of in the past. Uh, stuff like this. Again, outdoor power. Here's another one. Outdoor power. I've gotten stuff like this. I've also gotten pallets like these Home Depot ones that had tools on them. I've sold a lot of Milwaukee and DeWalt tools that I've gotten on pallets like this. But never one that was just Milwaukee or just DeWalt because usually those are way out of my price range. But I got one and I'm very happy with it and I hope to get more because tools are fun. So anyways, that's four videos I filmed today. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.